If you want a super smart design tool that can create product mockups like this, but it can also create your thumbnail images like this, and create super funny videos like this, What's up, fam? Then this video is perfect for you because I will show you the smartest AI design agent that I've used that can pretty much handle all of your design work without you having to worry about using Photoshop, Premiere Pro, and all these other design tools. I will walk you through three in-depth use cases from mock-up creation all the way to how I created the thumbnails for this very video that you clicked on, so somehow it must have worked, and I will show you how you can use this tool in order to create a storyline of videos and then generate those videos effortlessly. Your time is valuable, so let's get started. The tool that I'm talking about is called LoveArt. Once you click on the link in the description, you are led to this landing page. You can simply sign up with your Google account for free. This is what the dashboard looks like. It's very simple to understand. You can start a new design by prompting something here. You can see your recent projects here. And as you can see, I've tried out a bunch of different things and created a bunch of different designs. And lastly, another neat feature is the community dashboard where you can see what other projects people have posted. And you can get good inspiration of how people prompt and what kind of designs and results people get. For example, here we have a video podcast of two famous paintings talking with each other. Another day, another hundred phones aimed at my face. Really funny. And you can see that you can create really good uh, posters, for example, with this tool. You can create product mockups, which I will show you in just a second, as well as whole brand identities. If you want to see more about how to use this tool in order to create brand identities, I've done the whole thing for my own YouTube channel and I'm linking it right here. All right, let's get to it. The first thing I want to show you is how I created this design for my parents' gelato shop. I simply uploaded these two images, and as you can see here, I say, please create a mock-up of an ice cream store in Waikiki, Hawaii for a gelato company called Il Gelato Hawaii. It then thinks about this and analyzes my logos, and then it creates a smart plan in, in place and updates the knowledge for the whole project so it knows what I'm looking for. The location, the brand identity, the, the colors, uh, the logo, and, all, and, and even the tagline. After that, it came up with this image. And this looks really good. It has the palm tree, it has the logo, and this, the right color of the storefront. It even made a mock-up of what the inside would look like with the outside being the Hawaiian like palm trees, etc., and uh, some gelato flavors right here. I really like that mock-up right there. After that, I say, uh, that is great. Now design a premium takeaway bag for Il Gelato Hawaii. And it came up with a bunch of different designs. So here, it gave me the option for multiple takeaway bags. Here's the first mock-up, here's the second, here's the third, the fourth, and the fifth. I really like this one. This one would be so cool to have but it gets better. I also created a shareable poster that I can post on social media. So I just simply say, create a fun shareable poster for Il Gelato Hawaii with a viral marketing slogan. And in this case, the slogan is Scoop the Aloha. I created another one where it says, where Italy meets paradise. None of these were exactly what I was looking for. So I went to the website and I took a screenshot of this and I've uploaded to the website right here. And I simply say that a scoop of gelato should be more in line with this image and it nailed its first try. It did the logo right here and it says the slogan in this case is where Italy meets paradise. And that's actually a pretty clever slogan. Now to the fun stuff, merch. I gave it the logo again and said, uh, could you please come up with more merch options and create mockups for those with my current logo? So it does the whole analysis and figures out what kind of merch would work for a gelato store in Hawaii. And it came up with t-shirts with a logo on it. It came up with a tote bag and look how cool this looks. Came up with a mug, came up with hats. I want one of these and towels because we're in Hawaii. And here's even a shot of all of those different ones together in the same style. I asked it for even more merch and it came up with even more Hawaiian themed merch. For example, flip flops or slippers, sunglasses, an ice cooler, and check out the embossing here. Wow, this is high quality. A towel, I love the colors of this, and another tote bag, I love the colors of this even more, and how they all look together. Lastly, to wrap it off, I'm now asking it to come up with different poster ideas, and these are the ones that it came up with. A scoop of sunshine, Aloha more gelato, chill Italian, chill Hawaiian, a taste of tropical twist, and Il Gelato Hawaii, this looks uh, really fancy, okay. Pure joy, pure gelato, purely Italian. And what about to come is even better than what I just showed you. 
I'll share with you how you can come up with a bunch of thumbnails within five minutes, and I will show you how to create funny and viral videos. But I also want to hear your thoughts. First of all, which of these designs do you like? Which of these do you not like? And what else would you like to see me create? Because drop it down in the comments and I might make a video about it. All right, now to the thumbnail section of this video. As a content creator, I always dread making thumbnails because it just takes a long time and I feel like I'm, my creativity is better used to test out new productivity tools and AI workflows. And instead of paying a thumbnail designer, I now found a tool that allows me to make a bunch of thumbnail mockups with just a few clicks. All I do is I upload the logo of LoveArt, which is the video that I'm making right now, and I give it one reference image of something where I'm like, hey, maybe just something simple like this could work. After doing this and tagging them all in the, the chat, I simply say, I need your help copy the following YouTube thumbnails. But instead of this person and perplexity, I want it to be my face and love art. Logos attached for reference. This is the thumbnail concept design that I wanted to follow. And this is what it came up with. It has the logo, it has a nice tagline, and I didn't even tell it what the tagline should be. It has the laptop with some stuff in it, and it has my face and uh, me pointing at something. As you rightfully would point out, there are numbers here and there's two fingers, so I simply say that to the design agent as well, and it corrected that within just a second. Uh, here's an option, here's another option, uh, here's an option where my face doesn't look good. But then when I reran it again, this is what I came up with, and this is already a perfectly good thumbnail that I can now upload. At this stage, I was already happy. I could have just used that one thumbnail, but I want to A-B test my thumbnails and see if any of them perform better or worse. So in order to do that, I can now have this design agent run wild and create a bunch of thumbnails and I just have to choose the best one. So that's exactly what I did. I prompted it to give me more thumbnails and it just went ahead and created all these thumbnails for me. As you can see, this is maybe 30 or so thumbnails. Here are different rework sections of the first thumbnail to make sure that everything is correct. And then this is the thumbnail that I ended up uh, choosing because this looks simple, it's my face, it's uh, the computer, and uh, the Love Art logo. But then it went beyond my initial instructions of just copying this the one style. It now created its own thumbnail design methodology. In this case, it created a clever concept. It's a before and after concept of before with a certain uh, time, three days, and now it takes 30 minutes. Similar to that concept is this one, but this is a bit too cluttered, so I'm not gonna choose this. Here's a cool design revolution, again, before and after, uh, same concept design. Here is my face with a big expression. I think this would do really well. And I reprompted that uh, more for cartoonish ones. I wouldn't use this because the hand goes away, but I do like this one a lot. 10X faster designs, love art, minutes, not hours. That is really cool. I like this one. This one, these two have too much colors that don't really fit with my design style. This is another good one. And this one is hilarious. I also like this one where it's just a doodle of a logo and the, the tagline is from sketch to masterpiece. Uh, since I didn't sketch it, I'm not gonna use this, but maybe that's another good video concept. So let me know in the description if you want me to do that. Out of all of these, let me know which one you would have clicked on because it's hard for me to choose because now I have so many and a lot of these are actually great ideas. And Love Art can not only do static images like mockups, it can also create video concepts and full videos with sound. Do you wanna see it? Let's get to it. I've noticed that a lot of TikTok videos went viral where there was a famous character that was doing a vlog. For example, Jesus Christ, Noah, different historical figures. And I wanted to recreate that. So first, I wanted to, to do a POV style video where I say, I need you to come up with a viral video of the type of POV. I woke up as a prompt engineer in, in 2048 and have four to five scenes of a person in the POV view walking around doing things. And it was thinking about it here. It then came up with an inspiration and it suggested that it would go with that. It then showed me a scene and I confirmed that I liked those scenes. And it then cut them all together. And this is the video it came up with.
it's cool that they even have the like POV thoughts. This is a cool shot. Wow, this is really impressive. But I also wanted there to be a voiceover. So now I tried to do something a little bit more funny and I said, that is great, but now I want you to do a vlog style video of Noah on his arc. This time the video should be vertical and Noah should have a Gen Z slang. It now did the research of what Gen Z slang is, uh, what the context is with Noah and his arc. Uh, it came up with inspiration and then it created all of these scenes. You can see all of the different scenes right here. So let's check these out. What's up, fam? It's your boy Noah coming at you live from the arc. No cap, this flood is absolutely bussing. All right, let me give you all the tour. This arc is literally so extra chat. Two of every animal. The vibes are immaculate, but not gonna lie, it's given zoo chaos. Day 40 check-in and it's still raining cats and dogs. Literally so mid. The forecast is giving global flood vibes for real. Not gonna lie, we- Feeding time check, these animals are straight up hangry. The lions are giving major drama queen energy. Not me spending all day feeding these creatures. It's a whole vibe though. Oh, this is fantastic. If you want to download them, just click on those buttons here and you can download them and upload them to your TikTok and potentially go viral. And here's another video that I tried to recreate in the same style. This arc situation is giving nothing but bad vibes. I'm literally so done. Gonna yeet myself into the water now, no cap. As you can see, these tools are super funny. I might upload these and see if I can go viral just like these accounts. Check these ones out. Check out this account, for example, where they consistently get tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of views. And this channel is very new and it already has 800,000 followers just by creating exactly this style of videos. Check out Love Art. I'm leaving a link in the description and let me know which of these designs was most impressive to you. If you love AI and productivity, I have a few videos coming up that showcase how you can turbocharge your productivity with AI. So you might want to subscribe right here. And YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. Thanks for sticking around. I'll see you in the next one.